So for problem number 45 of section 1.4.1, we're given a general quadratic equation, AX, AX squared plus BX plus C, and we're asked to show a few properties about it. So the first off is, suppose that H of 0 is each, uh, where H is our quadratic here. Suppose that H of 0 is equal to H prime of 0. Um, so asked to show that that's true when B is equal to C. Well, let's see. Let's suppose that b is, is equal to c. Well, then we, our quadratic is of the form h of x equal ax squared plus bx plus c. Well, that means that h prime of x will be equal to 2ax. plus b. Now, if we stick in um, h is equal to, or excuse me, this should be right, either plus cx or plus c or plus bx plus b. I'll choose that one. And that means that if we evaluate each of these at x equals 0, we see that the first two terms here go away. So we're left with just b. And the first term here disappears, which again just leaves us with b. So when b is equal to c, we have that h of 0 is equal to h prime of 0. So we'll do a similar thing for part b. Uh, let's assume now that a is equal to c. So h of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus a and h prime of x is equal to 2ax plus b. Now let's substitute in um, x equals 1. So in our original function h we have that this is equal to a plus b plus a, or 2a plus b. And in the derivative, we have 2a times 1, or 2a, plus b. So we verified that h, h of 1 and h prime of 1 do, in fact, agree. Now, part c asks, when do both happen? When is it true that both h of 0 is equal to h prime of 0 and h of 1 is equal to h prime of 1? Well, that's going to happen when, first of all, when b is equal to c and when a is equal to c. So we've got a is equal to c, b is equal to c. It'll happen only when a is equal to b is equal to c when all three coefficients are equal.